Hello, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro is coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. We get to see a team that's on a good roll right now. And inside that locker room, a good roll translates how? You continue to do the same things that you've done to give yourself an opportunity, Doc. You drive to the rink the same way. You get dressed the same way. You go out onto the ice the same way. You don't want to change anything when you're in the middle of a winning streak. The Vipers are looking to continue this winning streak without trying to change a whole heck of a lot. I expect them to play the same way they've done in the last couple of games. And if they do that, this winning streak will continue. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Robin Leonard, a tall, hefty, yet quick goalie at 6'5", 240, native of Sweden, originally drafted by Ottawa, has surpassed 200 games in the crease in his NHL career. Henrik Lundqvist, Hank, in goal. The first NHL goalie to win 20 in his first 13 seasons in the league. All those with the New York Rangers, also a franchise leader in wins and shutouts. These two teams are ready to play, and we're ready to watch. And we have just begun. Baltimore is firing on all cylinders, Doc. They've been piling up the wins with their great play and discipline. A hit that can make you mad. The Lord's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Points it. Got that pass in his own end. Twist one. New York skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Loose puck, the defense got in the way of it. Sauced big time to Zuccarello. Propelled to Lee. Gathered up again by Zuccarello. Things are heating up with that hit. He got steamrolled there in the open ice. Thought he had more room to slide by, but the road got closed in a hurry. Whistle is blown. Penalty called. And the penalty box door swings open. The Rangers are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Vipers will have the man advantage, and this is their first one of the game. I loved going on the power play early in a game. You get to handle the puck, you get to make some plays, really get you into the game. The Vipers go back so that they can come back on this power play. Skates it into the zone. That shot hit a man. Great job in his own end with that interception. Slid to Martinez. Scorches one. And a save. Stat it away. They stop. That puck is just him. The Vipers have a great merchandise store. You'll love coming in and shopping there and even missing part of a period just to get better stuff. A little over five minutes off the clock. Still nothing on the score sheet yet. Loose puck due to the play by Lucic. A neutral zone interception. Wilson slashed on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Rangers are getting a minor here, and the call is slashing. Baltimore's power play gets a five on three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. He loads it up. Blocked. Wasn't intentional. It didn't go well. Loose puck. Lost possession there. Presses that attack. Somebody straight across. Puck has to be first. Offside. The Vipers with a center ice face-off win. Chip to Kalorn. Crossbar. Tipped away. Chiseled down. Out of the crease for some stick handling. Passing one off now to Barbario. On to Hurdle. Quickly off the stick. 
Save. Puck covered. Whistle blown. The Vipers have looked like a perfect hockey team over the last 10 games. Whether it's their special teams, their five-on-five -five play, their goaltending, they've had the answer to any question any opponent has put to them. They want to play as aggressively as they can tonight, Doc, because their opponents have really struggled. Looking to Killorn. Laid on to Barbario. Lifts one. Great bluff save, and he keeps it. Holds on and gets that whistle. Giordano's a difficult player to play against. He finishes almost every check, and as a result, he has among the highest hit totals in the league. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. He got rid of it. Terrific determination by Martinez. Baltimore's lugging it up the wing. And it's all great save. Puck came back to neutral ice, and so things will have to regroup. He finally got it out of there. One of the rare breaks in hockey is a call for icing. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Zabanajad's been missing from the bench for quite some time. Just heard that he will not be back today. Guys. And they are in. He throws it there. The shot is off. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. Makes a shot and a save. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Collected by Martinez. Back at the blue line. Baltimore's power play failed them this time, and they had plenty of time. Tremendous hit. Giordano's drives ahead. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Let's it go. Save. Trying to go to Stevenson. Picks it up back there. Watch out. A big hit. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. Pitching it to Osterley. Gathered up by Lucic. Snapping a pass to Wilson. Gains the zone. A great wrist shot. Oh, what a save that was. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Whistle is blown. Now the penalty will be handed out. Barbario is going to the box, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Rangers are going to try out their power play for the first time of the game. This is the power play earned in a scoreless game. Their power play can now get them on the board and give them a lead. Steps in from the neutral zone. It looks slashed and the arm of the referee is up. A penalty will be coming. Play stopped. Penalty coming. Power play done. Nemesnikov's getting a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. So now, with the penalty box a uh, little occupied, this is going to be four on four. Lots of space four on four. It always depends how aggressively the first team with the puck plays it, whether you're going to see much excitement or whether they'll be cautious and play it to a standoff. And he gains the zone. A great speed bump set up there. Gains the zone. Propelled to Larson. A gong shot there. Hurdles slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. He scores! Now that the scoring's been opened up, we'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back on your heels too long. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. 
Neutralized face-off win. Scored by number 25, Merkel. Slid to Zuccarello. Shoots it off. Say. All a part of generating an offense. A little pass off from the goal. Puck is thrown to Lucic. Can start the attack going in the zone. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Trying to get rid of that puck. Moving it to Zuccarello. Crashed into him in open ice. If you're here to watch physical hockey, well, there you go. Couldn't get his way through. And he dumps it in. Chip to Mueller. Carries it on in from center. Great opportunity denied. To Shattenkirk. Breakaway. He shuts it right down. Pitching this one to Stevenson. And he steps across the line. Hammers one. Baltimore's power play did not do it for them. And he holds on and stops play. The Rangers with a clean win on the draw. Outstanding body contact. Skilled play by Clutterbuck. Now it's directed to Shaw. Leads that charge into the zone. Save! Puck free, roadblock by Shaw. It remains in the zone. What a ripper from the point! Barbario's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Pass attempt to Clutterbuck. The Rangers get a two-minute penalty for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this. He scores! Terrific power play goal. So much of a power play is confidence. When you have a little success, you feel like you can do it again. That's what they should feel after they've already pocketed one power play goal. got a nose for the net and especially scoring goals off the rebound pucks to the net need to be deflected into the corner because the goaltender can't do that the goal scorer is able to pounce on the rebound and they've won the face off Really good job by the defenseman there. On to Shattenkirk. The clock has bled down to the last minute. That puck struck him in front. Directing that one to Lee. Steps across that line. You could almost count that one, but no. To Shea. Passing one off now to Spooner. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Oh, that one's going to sting. You can't brace yourself like you're up against the boards. That rattles your body top to bottom. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. The Vipers have a two-goal lead, and the one that made it two was this one. We'll be right back. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? The Rangers played the majority of the first period playing defense. Now they need to get some puck possession so they can get on the attack and score more goals. Wonder what we're going to get here as the second period is underway. Let's just see here. Let's just see. Wonderful save. New York's given up far too many chances tonight defensively. Their goalie's been great. 
And to top things off, they can't score at all. They won that draw. With a blast! Stood his ground and got a block shot. The play is offside. Back to center ice. We have a winner. Laid on to Kalorn. Looking to Larson. Propelled to Nemesnikov. Boy, he got slashed. There'll be a penalty for that. Giordano's getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. The Rangers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective. But they get another one handed to them here. And that one is cleared. More time off that penalty clock as they drop back and wait for another rush. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Trying to go to Zuccarello. Let's the shot fly. Save! Pitlick's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Pitching it to D'Angelo. What a tremendous hit! Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Many yards gain to D'Angelo. One-timer. Oh, tremendous stop by Leonard. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. The peon. Oh, my, what a hit. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body route. This is a way to change momentum in hockey game. On the delayed penalty, the change is made, and the extra man is out there. Whistle blown. Power play is history. The Rangers have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. The teams will go four on four. Do you take risks offensively, or do you just play defense and limit mistakes? I hope they take chances myself. It doesn't even take much of a mistake, Doc, to get a scoring chance on a four on four. If one guy gets beat by a half a stride, it's game on. Routine save. Mueller's not out of position at all here. He's in the right spot. That allows him to deliver this check. A little under four minutes played here in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Right to the point. Stick handling failed a little bit there. Puck loose. Bumped off. Gains that offensive line. That one gonged him. And they've got it again. Snapping a pass to Lee. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. Puck is thrown to Kreider. Moving it to Shea. Slid to Shea. Let's a shot go. A textbook stick save. Cuts that pass off. Got that pass in his own end. Lee's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Kreider's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Baltimore's had such good power play numbers this season. Most of it as a result of the way they move and support the puck. Very unpredictable makes it tough for the penalty killers to stymie them because they don't know where the next attack is coming from. Pitching this one to Stevenson. And in flight over the line. Strong wrister. Waffle boarded. Still more time killed as they have to drop back and regroup. To Lucic. To Giordano. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Takes that pass. What a ripper! He scores! And that is number 20. That 
puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. A little under six minutes gone. They've scored again, and so their lead in this contest is three goals. Is able to move on in. Smart recovery by Larson. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. The Vipers with a face-off win. And now it's directed to Wilson. It's an onside play. And he picks it up. Left it behind, but regathered it. To the point it comes. Muscled long to Spooner. Skates along the line. Got the old waffle board on it. Smart recovery by Larson. Let's it go. Pat save. What control. Skates out with it. Zuccarello's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Vipers are boxed on a tripping minor. They moved the puck around beautifully on a power play. Just nothing to show for it. I sure agree, Eddie. Solid, clean win. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. It's another sellout tonight in a long string of the many. Was it always that way here? Uh, they do so. Pass attempt to Nemesnikov. Chip to Zuccarello. Shoots. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Using the point. Long lead pass to Peon. Fires it to the point to Zuccarello. Hammers one. Kicked away. Picked up by the defense. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. New York's going back to get restarted with their advantage. Directing that one to VC. Gives it over to the point. Quick wrister. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Out of the blue line. To the point with it. In front. Got in the way of that one. Collected now. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Skill play by Shattenkirk. Passing one off now to Shea. A howitzer. Wonderful save. That puck gets cleared. And finally they can get the change. The Rangers lug the puck in the defensive zone. In with it now. Stays in the zone. Baltimore's taken care of that penalty kill and done it well. Looking to Larson. Let's it go. Great save. Shot. Score! That's four straight. position was key to be able to snap this one home. A lot of times you don't even get much more than a second to make a decision about where you're going to go defensively. In that second, you can make a mistake pretty quickly. This guy did. The Vipers have scored yet again, and their lead gets bigger. They are doing very well on the shot board, too. The Rangers control from the faceoff. Driving in from no man's land. 
time of the goal. Fires! Got him. Beast of it with the glove. Nice work by Larson. Trying to go to Wilson. A rocket! Outstanding save with the glove. The Rangers have been a train wreck tonight. Everywhere they've turned, they've been on the short end of the stick. Effort, physicality, finesse. This has been a terrible night. Giordano slashed on the play, and there'll be a penalty coming up. The parade to the penalty box means a parade of special teams from the benches. A power play that can generate goals is special, and this one has been. Let's see if it continues. The face-off, the tie-up, and a solid job from the winger there. Time of the penalty, 16 minutes, 24 seconds. Chipped right back into the opposite corner. Pitching it to Lee. Baltimore's up the wing, setting things up. Shoots one. Good save there. Very effective defensive play. You always... You've got a little bit of space to slide by. He got thumped against the wall pretty good. Wonderful stop. The rank. are at the wing in neutral ice. Shot on. Save. Snapping a pass to Lee. He gains the zone. He missed the net. He hammered that puck and it just missed. Oh, close but wide. Missed all of it. Gathered up again by Martinez. Forks it to Giordano. Possession in the zone. A shot off his head. Yeah, you got to wonder with that save in the masses if it's going to affect him down the road. The Vipers win that faceoff. A point hammer shot. Save there. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. That's the end. Good work by Faust. Flings it. A dangerous shot off the mask. Defensive zone win. Puck is thrown to Nemesnikov. Moving it to Kreider. Gains the zone. Pitching this one to Stevenson. Pulled it right back. Shoots one. And a save. Scrum over. Puck kicked. To Shattenkirk. On to Larson. And now it's directed to Lucic. It's one. Missed. That puck exploded off his stick. The Vipers power play has ended. They've been okay sometimes. Not this one. Takes it in from the neutral zone. In the second period. Shoots it on. Save. Pass attempt to lead. Hammers one. Oh, that one hit someone on the way.
two periods are in the books here, and so one more to go, and maybe overtime, but it's been an entertaining first two. As a safety issue and courtesy of you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during gameplay and wait for a break in the action. To the the Rangers are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? New York's down, Doc, after two periods of play. It's going to be really difficult for them to get back in this game if they don't clean up their turnovers. It is the third period, and we are underway. Laid on to Shattenkirk. Terrific defensive work. Directing that one to Giordano. The hurdle brings it in for an attack. Passing one off now to Nemesnikov. Propelled to Spooner. Made that stop. Up the left side, the hurdle. And he gains the zone. Good place to shoot from. Using the point, he's got it. Forcing attention in deep. Stole that pass away in his own end. Couldn't get through, it's loose. The Vipers have it along the side at mid ice. At least he protected his goaltender. He cut him down on that rush. What a hit that was! Oh, it's the open ice hits that hurt the most. That is a solid shoulder check there. Killorn's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. The Rangers are given a hooking minor. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. Baltimore's power play has not been a shambles. It's been very good here, and it gets another chance. Clean win on the draw. And Hartman collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. Taken out along the boards. That puck is free. Went off somebody. Slid to Wilson. Scooped up by Martinez. Big drive. Solid work there by Hickey. Gathered up again by Lucic. Picked up. Chip to Stevenson. Hey! And he holds on, and the whistle stops. The Vipers have been the more aggressive team right from the very beginning of this period. They've been on the body, hemmed them in in the offensive zone, and as a result, they have the lead. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. A backhand shot. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. Dogged determination there by Shattenkirk. What a tremendous bit of anticipation there. Play can continue because it didn't come out. Intercepted that one at an important place. Let's it go. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Big drive. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Score! A power play goal yet again.
their defense was a step slow, not able to get in front of that long wrist shot. Lundqvist's in pretty good positioning here. He's just beaten by a better shot. Up into the glove side, he can't catch up to him. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. After a while, you're not getting much from your goaltender. He's given up a couple of bad goals. There's been a couple that he hasn't had a chance on. It is time to change the record and get him out of the game. Under eight minutes have gone by. The ice is not only tilted, if they opened the end doors, the players would go tumbling through them into the hallway. Puck loose, strong defensive play by Hagelin. He's in on an onside play. Looking to Mueller. On to Hagelin. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Cut that pass in his own end. Knocked off. Trying to go to Pitlin. The Vipers wheel it up the wing. Fires one. Blockered away. The Vipers haven't given up much here tonight. And when they have, their goaltender has been amazing. They're trying to protect this shadow all the way to the end. Baltimore is carrying it in their own zone. Crosses that line. Shoots. And that one turned aside. Pitching it to Spooner. Snapping a pass to Spooner. Nice stand-up poke check there. They keep working hard on the boards. With a shot. Say. Oh, and the puck goes out of the zone, and so they'll have to reset at center. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Could this be icing? And it will be, based on the defense arriving first. The Leafs will help put a bookend on this final game of the homestand. That's up next on the schedule. Good face-off win. Has it picked up. Nicely into the zone. Gloved. Terrific determination by Sean. Oh, what a terrific save in close. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Breaks away. Great save. Baltimore's recoiling in the defensive zone. Let's it go. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Puck is thrown to Hickey. Gathered up again by Larson. Moving it to Pitlick. Got it in his own end. Pitching this one to Hayes. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Since the rules have changed a little bit, you're not able to hold up quite as much as you used to. A rarity is an open ice hit. That is a big one. Last minute to go in the third. Now it's directed to Giordano. Terrific determination by Hickey. And so the linesmen in the seats agree with the linesmen on the ice. At least most of the time. They would say this is offside, and it is. Larson's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Pass attempt to Kreider. Look out! to the point slid back across from one point to the other wonderful stop didn't handle it very well free pop laid on to Lucic drives it missed the net he got all of the puck on that one but none of the net 
Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Leonard's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Drop. They lock up, and that's a good shot by the winger. The Rangers are driving it from the wing. Really good cut of the pass. And that's the end of the game. Well played. Baltimore's got the win, and their winning streak keeps going. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak and tap. The wins just keep on coming. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.